What's up everyone, Amy here. If you've been following my Groove Members training, you would have noticed that you no longer have access to your Groove Members site registration URL. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to give login access to a free course or a free membership site in Groove Member and have Groove Member send your students a login link, username and password. You ready? Let's go. There are two options to giving your students free access to your membership site or course. The first one is to manually add a person's contact details in the back office of Groove Member. Or the second option is creating a Groove Cell product funnel and setting your membership price at $0. Using the second method, your students won't need to enter any credit card details. The checkout form will act like a sign up form and the process is automated for you. So let's go through the first option of manually adding in a person in Groove Member. Now I'm going to assume that you've already created your Groove membership site and you'll click on members, my members. In the drop down arrow, you want to select the free membership site or course that you've already created. Then head over here, click on new member and add in the first name, last name, email of the student you want to give access to, as well as assigning the access level for that membership. Click on save. Group member will then automatically email your students with their login details. Now, if you want to automate the process, the second option is creating a Groove Cell funnel. I'm going to assume that you already know how to set up a basic product funnel in Groove Cell. And if you don't know how to do this, check out my Groove Cell playlist but I'll also quickly run through the steps in this training as well. You wanna click on product funnels, locate the funnel for that free course or membership site. Under actions, click on manage products. The product I've created for the free course is called free course test. We're gonna click on the pencil icon. So let's quickly run through how you would set up the product funnel for a free course. Product name, free course, same as internal name, description. I suggest you put a description that makes sense to the user because they will see the description on the checkout form. It's a front end product. Let's click on save. In step two pricing, I've got the name of the free course as free course for now. Leave it set at default. It's a one-time payment and we want to set this price from $1 to $0. Click on save. Three gateways. Now you don't need to add any payment integrations, but if you do have a second price point, you would add in your PayPal credit card or apply for Groove Pay. So in this example, I've already added credit card. Click on Add Credit Card Gateway and clicked on Amiibo Stripe. That's already integrated. And for this one, I set it at 100, meaning I want 100 of my sales proceeds in my Stripe account. Let's click on Save. For content, so this is where you will enter in your sales page. Thank you page, enter in the thank you page of that URL here. Refund, we'll set it at zero. Support info, I suggest you put in yes, add my support and then nominate an email address here. Click on save. Five, check out, upload the product image here. And for the template of the checkout form, you can either have pink, blue, gray, form fields. For this particular one, I have unticked address, city and postal code, phone and company because we don't need all those extra details. For express checkout, leave it selected at no use full checkout experience. Card abandonment is optional. You can add an integration to Active Campaign or another email marketing provider. Custom CSS, if you want to add any Facebook tracking codes or Google Analytics, you add it here. Legal, I'm going to set it at no vendor specific terms and conditions. Language, leave it at fixed checkout and it's defaulted to English. Quantity, because it's a free course, you can't enable multiple quantities here. So let's click on save and next. Six bumps, it's a free course, so you won't activate any order bumps here unless you want to. Seven funnel, leave it as is because it will carry through the thank you page over here for you. Under eight fulfillment, you want to click on add new membership, select the membership for your free course, assign the access level, click on add, now guys, because I'm editing an existing product funnel, for you, you would have save and next to go to the next step. Nine affiliates, I'm not activating an affiliate program for that. 10 proof, you can add a proof widget to show that someone has signed up to your free course by clicking create. And I'm not gonna go through this because that was covered in previous tutorials. And right now you've got 11 finish. And you can choose to add the tracking link and the proof widget on your landing page or sales page. So what we're gonna do is click save 
and exit out of this. Next, you want to head to your checkout pages in group pages, click on element, scroll down under e-commerce and you want to drag in the groove cell checkout element here and drag it over. Click on the groove cell element and then over here, there should be a pencil icon. Click on that to edit the checkout form. You want to head over to the configure tab over here. So that'd be on the top. And what you want to do is under type, select the checkout page for the funnel, select the funnel for us. It was a free course test product funnel will be free course test, the type of checkout because I have a single free course without multiple price points, I'm going to select single price point. However, if you want your checkout form to show a free and a paid course at different price points, you would select multi price point, but we'll leave it at single price point for now. Under checkout steps, I will keep it at one step given that this is a free course and you want less friction. For price points, I have it at a free course. Click on update. I'll close out of this. Press save. The content save green box alert has popped up. Click on the preview icon. You can see here that when you send your students this checkout page URL, they don't need to enter in their credit card details. And once they click on get free access, it will redirect them to the thank you page that you set up in your GrooveSell product funnel. So for the thank you page, I recommend saying thank you. Please check your email. Look for an email from Groove member with your login details and just do a screenshot so they know what to expect. Now guys, hit that like button, leave me a comment if you have any questions, subscribe to the channel for more training like this and until next time, see ya.